Hi, this is Rob Leo, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a PDF converter called PDF Candy. It's online, pdfcandy.com. And it's really just an online tool to convert your PDFs into other file formats or do other stuff with your PDFs. Uh, PDF stands for Portable Document Format. And uh, really, in the early days of the internet, you had to have software to open up certain files, like you had to have Microsoft Office to open up a Word file. PDF made it so that you could open a file without necessarily having the uh, proprietary software to do so. Um, today, of course, we look at PDFs and they're really read-only files, but what PDF Candy will let you do is to convert them to another format where you can perhaps work with them to edit to a degree. Uh, it may not be perfect, but um, there are some options for you. I'm going to use an example of uh, one of the CK CKLA units, um, just as an example for our elementary teachers. Um, but I'm going to take a PDF and convert it to uh, Microsoft Office DOCX. And to do that, I'm just going to get started. And by the way, just, to, just so you can see um, the PDF I'm working with, I chose uh, a third grade uh, file for the Vikings. And you can see this is a uh, pretty much just a, a, a picture, really. It's, it's read-only. You can't really edit. You can look at it. You can print it. Um, that's pretty much all you can do with it. I downloaded it. I clicked a little down, download arrow and saved it to my computer. It's saved as a PDF. And what I'm going to do with it is open up the PDF to DOCX tool within PDF Candy online. And it's going to ask me to add files. Notice you can add from Google Drive, you can add from Dropbox, or you can just drag and drop a file in, which is what I'm going to do. And it tells you how long it may take for the file to uh, get, in its, uh, get in its queue to do what it needs to do. And now it's converting. Notice it updates you periodically with uh, how far along it is in the process. And in just a few moments, it reached 100%. And now it's ready for download. And notice again, you can send it off to your Google Drive if you'd like to. You can send it off to Dropbox. I'm simply going to download it. And I'm going to open it up as a Word document. You can see it's downloaded here onto my downloads area on my computer. I'm just going to open it up. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just going to click Enable Editing. So now that same PDF file has been converted to Word. Some of the stuff is still a picture, so you notice the, the graphics on the cover. But as you scroll through, you'll notice that you can, in fact, edit the text of this file. And if you only need to maybe merge some pages together, you could, you could possibly do that as well. You could delete pages just like you can with any uh, Word file. So notice now I can highlight this text. I can change it if I need to. And it just becomes an editable Word file, which I can then click File and Save. I'm sure if I, if I wanted to, I could download this and save it into my... Um, into my Google Drive, convert it to a Google Doc if I had to, and make it shareable online. So uh, a couple different uh, ways you could approach this, but again, it's not perfect for everything. The file I happen to work with happens to work. Um, some cases you may have files that will remain as pictures, but once again, it's a free, easy tool to use, pdfcandy.com, and uh, you have several options for um, how to edit PDFs online for free. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.